So what's going on y'all today we're back with another video y'all so today we are gonna change the thermostat on the track hawk y'all so i've been going through thermostat like crazy um especially the 180 thermostat the track hawk is tuned for 180 and i just cannot find a good thermostat all the thermostat i've been finding they've been breaking um they're just trash yo and i've been looking on youtube for a different solution for the thermostat so i had a friend of mine that told me hey why don't you just do a thermostat delete there is a kit for it and i don't know if y'all could see it but this is the kit for it let me focus this a little bit this is the kit right here it come with everything you need for the thermostat delete y'all so i mean it's not a hard job it's easy um i got all my tools right here the thermostat housing is three bolts you take this bolt out and this bolt out right here but there's another bolt after you take this out it's another bolt in there like this that's holding the thermostat housing out so i'm just going to take this one out let some of the coolant come out the car been sitting overnight so the car is nice and cool it's not hot um if you can see right now look at the weather look at the florida weather it looked like it want to rain i hope lord i hope it don't rain on me right now but uh, the car is nice and cool um, we don't have to worry about ear going in the system and none of that stuff so that being said y'all let's get into this all right y'all so we got the um, the bolt that's right there the thing I like about this thermostat housing um, to bleed uh, to bleed the system you don't have to take the whole thing out um, we are gonna take the whole thing out but I'm just trying to show you guys you know what I'm saying? You just take this bolt out and you can bleed the system. That's one thing I like about this thermostat housing. So that was a good investment right here though. So we're still moving along. We still gotta take the bolt from inside there. Gotta take this out and gotta take this one out and then we take the whole system out. But there is a little bit of coolant in here, um, which I don't have nothing to put it in. I try to put it in this plastic right here, but that's not really gonna work. So I'm just gonna let this thing um, just run out. It's not going to be that much. I could replace it. That's not a problem. So moving right along So y'all we back again um, I got the thermostat housing out. I got the thermostat out. This is thermostat right here. I mean I don't know thermostat look all right because I just changed it but they say this type of thermostat with the bronze with the bronze in the side the whatever it is um, those thermostats are garbage, especially in the Mopars, they break all the time, and I had so many thermostats break on me, y'all, so, <sighs> the better solution I have is, I'm gonna try out this thermostat delete right here, here you go again, I'm gonna try it out, it's very easy to take out, um, the only thing is, you're gonna lose a little bit of coolant, um, I, I lost quite a little bit, yeah, it's dropped on the floor, but that's okay, I got more coolant in the back, once I get the once I get the kit in, I could also um, let the car circulate, and then I could put more coolant in there. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. But uh, there you go, y'all. That's it right here. So I'm going to go out and take out the... So this is it right here. This is the thermostat delete, y'all. It got this little... Um, this little... What is that? This little seal around it and this is a metal plate right here um let me show y'all so it the, the kit come with two two seals there's a seal right here and there's other plates in there that you could put whichever one fits your car so for the hellcats and uh the track hawks and you know whatever you want to the black plate and when you put it in it got to be clockwise y'all it got to be clockwise if y'all can see it it got to be clockwise like this when you put it in so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in clean it up and then put it in and then get back to putting it on and we're gonna go to the test drive and everything so as y'all can see y'all i got the thermostat housing in um the thing i like about this thermostat housing like i said you got this little bolt right here that's go right here you know, in case you got air in your system, you could bleed it out without taking the whole thing out. That's the only good thing I like about it. Um, 
we just got to put some thread tape around it and then um, once we take put some thread tape around it we're just gonna put it back in and uh, and then we'll be done really I just got to top off the coolant a little bit nothing much just a little bit and then uh, we'll be good to go and then we'll go ahead and test it and see how it works we got the thread tape on the bolt um, like I said the thing about this thermostat um, this bolt right here but you have to put thread tape on there or else if you don't put thread tape on it it's gonna be leaking out coolant from this hole right here so you got to put thread tape on there to kind of um, eliminate that to seal that right so let's get it on so right now we got the truck running right now um, it's kind of building up pressure we don't have no leaks or nothing. Everything looks good to go. We're gonna go check the temperature inside. Let's see what's going on. As you can see the temp inside, right here. Let's see if I can focus it a little bit. All right, so we still, the truck is still cold, so I'm letting uh, heat up a little bit. Let's see if we could build up some temperature, but, um, yeah, y'all, we're just going to let it run for a little bit, and uh, we're going to give it a few test drive and a few pulls and see how that works. Hopefully it works. I don't have to deal with uh, that thermostat issue anymore. Let's hope. There you have it, y'all. The temperature is staying at 195, 198. It's going down. The fan just came on. Right now, let's check it out. So the fans just came on. I mean, so far it's working great. So we are gonna do. Let me see. So we are gonna do a. Um, we're gonna do a test drive on it, see how it works, and then uh, we'll go from there. Working good so far. Let me check the temp still. Yep, and the temp is going down. It's at 190. And it's going down. The fan just came on, so. But uh, we about to get, we about to jump in and uh, do a, uh, do a test. It's going down. All right, y'all. So right now we are in the vehicle. Right now we are at a temperature of 194. Right now the fans are going off. It's working good. But that's it being done. We are gonna go for a few pulls to make sure it worked perfectly. And we're not having no issues right now. So let's get it done. Anyway, how y'all going? What's going on with y'all today, man? Um, I woke up early this morning to get this done. So. Um, like I said, y'all, I've been going through a lot of thermostat, 180 thermostat on the um, track off and on my Hellcat. When I had my Hellcat, um, that was a major problem I had. And I wish I knew about this um, when I had my Hellcat. Um, I would have been did a thermostat delete. Um, the car is running at 185. Let's do a pull. Go in track mode. Let me turn it around so y'all can see. So here we go, y'all. Focus. So we are at a 185 uh, Fahrenheit right now, and you know it's running good, man. Let me let y'all see. So I got it in. So we are in full power, y'all. We are in track mode right now. So we're gonna beat up on it a little bit and see if we can take it. So far, so good. Temperature is still at 185. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. I hope y'all like it for me. 
you know, as a car guy, y'all, you gotta learn to do little things on your car without going to a mechanic, you know what I'm saying? Um, Google and YouTube is a good tool to look stuff up, y'all. They're already doing it. All you have to do is just do it the same way that they do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not everything. You gotta go to a mechanic to um, get stuff done. Something small like that, I mean, common sense, you could do it yourself, but I understand some people just can't do it, which I totally understand. But if you're a car guy, you should be able to do little stuff on your car without going to a mechanic or something like that. You know what I mean? Man, this thing is working good. But I am, I think I am going to be one of the first um, guys to put this up on YouTube, test it out and see how it works. Uh, because I've been looking for you know, Hellcats or guys that do this um, thermostat delete and I can't find anything on YouTube at all. Uh, we're still at a 186 Fahrenheit, y'all. We're still in full power. think to me it's working great I like the temperature the truck is, is going right now I mean if you look at the temp look at the gauge and you can see it right here is a 186 186 temp I could live with that so anyway y'all um, hey <laughs> the thermostat delete worked perfectly fine to me I mean, the truck is running at 188, you know. Um, before the thermostat delete, the truck, I think, was running at 222, 230, and I don't know. I just don't like my truck to be running that hot, honestly. Um, so, come up with a, they come up with a thermostat delete kit, and, hey, <laughs> I think every Hellcat... I think every Hellcat should get a thermostat delete because the Hellcats do run hot, man. So, that 180 thermostat just, I don't know, it works good when you put it in brand new, but, you know, after you beat up on it, and, yeah, man, this shit just go to shit, bro. It's just as the way it is. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is at this point. But, uh, hey, man, I love y'all. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to the channel, honestly. Y'all definitely helped me out. Um... I'm trying to push out as much content I, I, I can to y'all. And if y'all could just keep supporting the channel, y'all. I'm going to keep putting content like this out. You know, and um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And um, right now I'm about to go back to the house, take a shower, and uh, close this video up, y'all. So, I love y'all. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you. Before you leave, please hit that bell. And also hit the subscribe button. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and um, you watch this video, I appreciate you. I love you. You don't appreciate. You don't understand how much I appreciate this. And um, yeah, so <laughs> turned out to be a good, a good kit, y'all. So I recommend it for anybody got a Hellcat, you know, uh, track hog, GRX, whatever. So um, I will definitely see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Stay safe and uh, see y'all in the next video.